What's up, Raph gang? It's Raph in the Raph Cave. Welcome back to another video. Well, guys, I just got home from seeing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute blast. Crazy, crazy movie. Very cool. Very good. And uh, a lot's going on, guys. This will be my non-spoiler talk. Just going to give you a kind of a, a brief overview and impressions getting out of the theater. Went to the theater. Theater was packed. Everyone's excited. And uh, yeah, it was cool. But I gotta say, before the movie started, there's three trailers. First trailer was Top Gun, of course. The second trailer was Avatar. I got to see the new Avatar trailer. And uh, it was stunningly beautiful. And it was just cool to see all the blue people again. And uh, Jake Sully has just longer dreads. He looks badass. Natiri, just gorgeous as ever. And just the landscape and the water and all the other uh, uh, Pandora people, Pandorians or what, what you would call them. Amazing. So cool, cool trailer. Check it out when it comes out. And then there is one more trailer. Ah, yes, of course. Thor and the Love of Thunder. And uh, damn good. It's good to see that on the big screen. And especially at the end scene, Lady Thor's arm. Just jacked. It's awesome. Now we go to the movie, guys. Whew. Opening scene, crazy. Big action. Sets up the story. Sets up America Chavez. And you already see a different Doctor Strange right away. So that's out of the way. You know there's going to be multiple Doctor Stranges. Of course there is. It's the multiverse. Cool. Sets that up. So she's on the run. And uh, something's chasing her. You know, something wants her power. She's got the, the teleportation. She can go through multiverses. That's her thing. And someone, someone wants her, her gifts to do what they want to do. Dr. Strange. I mean, this alternate version of Dr. Strange, badass, cool outfit, speaks Latin, Spanish, cool. And, uh, that was an awesome scene. Just the, the special effects and the creature effects and the magic he uses. This is, this is just cool. Seeing his hand gestures and seeing, Magic spells we've never seen before. Just awesome. And then we go back to, to our world. And uh, it's Wong and Strange. And he's doing his thing. And he's just, you know, going to a wedding. Right? This, the girl he loves is marrying somebody else. So he just shows up and wants to uh, show his support. And then all hell breaks loose, of course. And Dr. Strange to the rescue and finds her, Chavez. They meet up. He's curious about her. He wants to see what's going on. And then you get involved of what, why she's running and what she uh, what she can do. And uh, then you find out uh, who the villain is. I think we all know who the villain is. Scarlet Witch. Wanda, right? And uh, yeah, this movie has a lot of Scarlet Witch and Wanda, which I'm appreciative of because we all want to see true Scarlet Witch Wanda the way she should be. And uh, we got that. She's in this movie a lot. It's great. And uh, yeah, then we figure out that uh, who the villain is. And then we find out why the villain needs something. And uh, she will do anything to uh, get what she wants. Right? Because we know after WandaVision, what did she hear? She heard her kids. And uh, that's it. She's on a straight line, a straight path to get to her kids. That's right. Okay. Dr. Strange says, uh, no way. All right. I'm going to protect this girl. She's special. I'm not going to let you do that. All right. So there, there we go. The, uh, the good versus evil and, uh, yeah, going on a magical ride. And it's, uh, it's just crazy. You're seeing a lot of effects. We're seeing a lot of multiverses, seeing a lot of different worlds. And I can't wait for some other YouTuber to do the breakdown of how many universes, they traveled through in this particular scene. It was just so crazy. I just wish it was in slow motion because as they pass through universes, it's like, it's crazy how much stuff is going on in the background of these universes. Very cool. Which is slow. You got to see it again. It's crazy. Got to say the fight scenes are good. A lot of uh, superhero stuff going on. Very cool. I like that. Uh, the sound in the theater, a little disappointed. The center channel was not loud enough, so the dialogue was was soft. Which we kind of know a lot of the 4K Blu-rays of Disney has been soft as well, so it's kind of a, kind of a trend. But I needed the theater to bump that center channel up. 
Although my sound is going to be good, guys. Can't wait for the Atmos track on that one. At home, of course. Uh, but, yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it's just basically a chase, okay? Wanda, the villain, is chasing Strange and uh, Chavez, and she'll go wherever she has to go to get her. And it's it's a crazy ride, guys. Very cool. Uh, let's, let's The Illuminati is there. You've seen in the trailer. You heard the voice. Yes. Yes and yes. That's there. And uh, there is a spectacular battle. I mean, like, Avengers-type battle. Very cool. And, uh, yeah, it's funny. It's a funny movie. It had some funny parts to it. Uh, America Chavez, she's just awesome. Awesome character. Strange is awesome. Wong is great. He is still the Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, the uh, the Comertage, right? The, uh, the the home home base of all the sorcerers. Very cool scene there. Pretty epic battle. Kind of like Shang Chi's battle at the end. Very cool stuff there. Um, yeah, very cool. I mean, it's just a just a wild ride. And uh, yeah, chasing, running, getting captured, fighting, chasing again. Find out what they got to do to stop the villain. And uh, yeah, it's a good battle at the end. Very cool. Very A good twist. We've seen Zombie. Zombie Strange. We know what that's all about now. It's, it's crazy how uh, he did that. And then uh, in the end is, uh, yeah, we figure out what happened. And good closure there. It's a good closure to, uh, to the villain there. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend seeing it, guys. It's a fun ride. If you know, if you follow Doctor Strange, you know his story, and uh, you follow Wanda's story, it, it comes to a, a nice head here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Good stuff. Good action. Good cameos. Fun ride. Definitely go check it out. Highly recommend it. It's going to be a big movie. Uh, what else? There's two uh, end credit scenes. Two end credit scenes. The first one's very important. Second one, funny. You know. It, Take it or leave it. It's funny. Um, and that's about it for my non-spoiler um, impressions of the movie. If you're still here, I'm talking spoilers right now. I'm talking cameos. And uh, I know it all. I know who the Illuminati is. Yes. Um, where should we start? Well, we know who the villain is, right? It's Wanda, it's Scarlet Witch. She, her her story is she wants to get to her kids, right? So she, like I said, she'll do whatever it takes to get her kids. So, so she needs America Chavez's powers to be able to go through multiverses and get her and be with her kids. Fair enough. I mean, I know she's a mom. She wants her kids. Uh, but apparently she has to kill America Chavez to, to take her powers completely. And we don't want to kill her. She's great, right? And by the way, her powers are damn cool. Uh, when she goes through multiverses, a big star appears, and she can go through it. She she can punch hard, and it's just cool effects. Very cool. Um, the Illuminati, yes. Yeah, so as he's going through different multiverses, right? He gets to a place, and and there's Doctor Strange in every multiverse. This particular universe, Doctor Strange is dead, but there's a shrine for him, right? So he ends up seeing where it's at. And then um, the sorcerer with the dreads, black dude, right? He's there. He's the supreme. And then captured him, captured him, of course, and throws him into some kind of a clear jail or jail cell or some kind of, you know, a little container. And uh, yeah, he's got to talk to the Illuminati. So he gets locked up, taken to the Illuminati with the Ultron bots we saw in the trailer. And uh, let's see who the Illuminati are, right? Here we go. We have uh, this, the black blackout dude. He's got the pitchfork and he's got the black mask on and he can just yell very loudly and very powerful and disintegrate whatever's in front of him. That's one of them. Uh, the second one, of course, is um, Captain, Captain Carter from What If, the first episode of What If, Disney Plus. Captain Carter with S.H.I.E.L.D. She's looking great. Peggy. It's fantastic. Third one we have is uh, is Miss Marvel. Um, Monica Monroe, her mom, I think. Her mom, Monica Monroe. So Captain Marvel. Huge cameo appearance of Reed Richards 
played as uh the dude from the dude from uh Quiet Place, John John Krasinski, the fan favorite Reed Richards. John Krasinski is Reed Richards, and he's got his Fantastic Four outfit, and he's sitting in that chair, and he's talking to Doctor Strange. He's talking about what's going on. Oh, it's so cool. And then, at the very end, we should tell them the truth. Here comes Professor X in his yellow chair, and there he is. Patrick Stewart, in all his glory, talking to Doctor Strange. And uh, yeah, it's, it's legit. It's for real. So he explains Wanda's coming, Scarlet Witch is coming, and uh, she's on her way. So you got to free him. Let me let me go back. Let me uh, let me figure it out. All the all the while, the Darkhold book is very important. It's very it's a very dark book with, with evil powers, and they're trying to get to a special book uh, between the multiverses that gives the person the power to stop whatever they want. It gives them whatever they want. It's a special book of, you know. Power. And then, oh man, then Scarlet Witch appears, but she's not Scarlet Witch with the crown and everything. What she can do is called uh, Dream Walk. Dream Walk. So in the in our world now, Scarlet Witch uses the Dark Hold and projects herself into a different universe, into a different uh, Wanda. So the Wanda in that particular universe has her kids and she's happy. She takes control of her body and then goes to Illuminati to get America Chavez, who, who is captured there. And the epic fight scene of, of Wanda versus the Illuminati is awesome. It's so crazy cool. I mean, she's fighting Captain Carter with the shield. She's fighting Miss Marvel with this cosmic blast. Reed Richards tries to do his little stretchy thing and he doesn't he doesn't do much. Charles Xavier does his mind control and goes into her mind. That was a crazy trippy trippy uh, scene there. But uh he doesn't make it. I mean, Wanda's like <coughs> Let me tell you. Wanda kills the Illuminati. They're all dead. Every one of them dies fighting Wanda. Oh man, it's crazy. Good stuff. Um, so fast forward to the end. Wanda finds Chavez and 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 takes some of her power and then goes back to 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 real world, right? Where where the real body is, where Wanda is, so she can fully absorb her 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 power. Meanwhile, Doctor Strange is stuck in a different universe with his girlfriend. And he's meeting a different Doctor Strange, which is all messed up. He has a dark hole. He's all evil. So they fight. But now he has to use the dark hole's power and do his own dream walk. Dream, dream, whatever that is. Into the our universe to to stop Wanda and, and stop stop what's going on. So he possesses the dead Doctor Strange that was buried for, for the whole movie. And he uses the dark hole power to possess himself as a dead, which is a no, no, you can't do that. And a bunch of evil, nasty spirits, um, stop him. It's just, just crazy scenes. Anyway, it's zombie strange with all these arms and all these spirits and abilities flies over, fights Wanda, stops her with the help of Wong. And what Chavez does is takes Wanda to, the universe with the kids and lets her see what happens when she tries to force herself um, to become the mother of her kids. When Even though there is a, a mother already there, she can't do that. The kids don't want her. So she realized that and, and it's just sad. And it's just a very sad scene. I got to say that scene was very emotional and I felt really bad for, for Wanda when all that she wanted was those kids. But I guess we realized that they were made up. They were made up after all. Oh man, sad stuff. So anyway, she she's gone supposedly. Um, um, Scarlet Witch. She destroyed the temple of the the Dark Hold and, and the witch and all that. So who knows if she comes back? Hope so. And then uh, yeah, I guess the things are, you know, he leaves. Uh, Doctor Strange leaves the zombie body and goes back to his real body, and then Chavez makes a portal for him 
to come back to our world, right? So now he's back here. Uh, all is good. Uh, and the Com the Comertage, I think uh, the Comertage, the, the Sorcerer's uh, Temple, you know, everybody's starting to come back and train again, even though the place is a mess. They got to rebuild uh, the Comertage. Um, and then, yeah, Dark Strange uh, realizes he shouldn't be afraid and and should live his life without his girl, but still be happy at the same time. And then uh, at the very end, well, Chavez is training. She wants to be a, a sorcerer and stuff like that. She knows her place and she's good. Um, yeah, Wong is good. Strange is back home. He's got a nice, he just feels comfortable now. He's not going to be all uptight and scared and all this stuff. And at the very end, he just screams. He's like, ah, and he yells and something's hurting. And all of a sudden, <laughs> the third eye pops out of his head. So something sinister is going on with Dr. Strange right now. Like the dark hole put something inside him or something's inside him right now. So then end the movie. And then our first, our first cut scene or first, uh, end, uh, credit scene was just nuts. Just nuts. It's Dr. Strange walking in the city. Like I'm not sure. I don't know. The same Dr. Strange, maybe a different one. Or I'm not sure. All of a sudden, uh, uh, Charlize Theron in this, I mean, a kick-ass purple superhero suit with this cool sh makeup on, purple makeup, and she just looks amazing. Kind of like from uh, that superhero movie with Will Smith. Right? Check it out. Like that. And then she uh, she says there's consequences for, some, for, for something that Doctor Strange does, and she cuts reality, like just cuts a, a, an opening in the, in the, of reality into some kind of Dormammu kind of a, a universe in the background. And then they leave together. They both go in. But I think Doctor Strange had that third eye or something. Like they're both kind of, I don't know, it was weird. It was very short. And I only saw it once. It was crazy. But they both jump into that, into that strange universe. And that was, that was the end of it. So Doctor Strange will return. They, they showed that in the credits. So he's coming back. Uh, the second, the second, uh, after credit scene, the funny one, which is, you know, it's basically, um, Bruce Campbell, uh, Bruce Campbell did have a, a cameo spot in this movie because we all know Sam Raimi directed this. And by the way, Sam Raimi, good director, but there are some scenes in the movie that were kind of eh, a little cheesy, right? A little campy, like evil dead campy. He had the cool effects and he had the, you know, cool, you know, um, some evil stuff in there, some jump scares and some cool camera angles and some evil stuff. So it was, it was some good stuff and there's some bad, it's kind of a lame stuff. But Bruce Campbell's in it and there's a scene with Dr. Strange and Bruce Campbell that was funny. But at the, at the, at the end of the credit scene, he stopped doing what he was doing. He stopped punching himself because, well, we're in spoilers anyway. Dr. Strange put a spell on, on Bruce Campbell's character because he was just annoying. So he had to, he was just punching himself. So <laughs> kind of like Evil Dead stuff. Um, but anyway, he stopped punching himself. He's like, it's over. It's done. And then end, end scenes. So anyway, all in all, guys, um, love, love the movie. It's really cool. Great effects, a wild ride. Just so much stuff going on. Love seeing so much of WandaVision or Wanda, Scarlet Witch and Wanda. Just love seeing so much of her. She's great. Doctor Strange, great. Just cool looking dude. Great effects. Great, great levitation effects and cloak and magic and arm hand gestures and cool things and just awesome. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I think you should go out and see it. But yeah, damn cool to see those cameos. I wish there was more. You know, I wish there was uh, maybe uh, an Iron Man uh, cameo or something, or maybe some more mutants or something, or or somehow bring the mutants back into our multiverse or our, our MCU. But I don't know where they're going to go from here. I think they just pushed the mutant stuff a little bit further. We'll see. Anyway, guys, long little rant. Talking about the movie, I definitely would love to see it again. Can't wait to see it again and uh, kind of get a little bit more in-depth of what's going on and really soak it in and especially see it in my own home theater because I can really crank it up loud because I really want to experience that those fight scenes again. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, comment below if you've seen it, if you liked it, what you didn't like, and uh, maybe I'll do a live stream about the movie so we can all just chat about it and stuff too after most people have seen it. All right, well, there it is. Dr. Strange, the Multiverse of Madness. I'm tired. Uh, I'm going to go lay down, but I'm really glad I saw it, and I don't have to get, you know, get spoiled about anything online. So, anyway, guys, home theater rules.
Raph out. Dr. Strange, right here. See ya. <laughs>